In travel trends, clearly it's becoming a very busy travel season. Joining us now is travel and vacation expert, Julie Ellis of Visit Myrtle Beach. Good to have you here. And what's your number one tip for enjoying a beach vacation? The number one tip is to just plan ahead, you know, determine your budget, make reservations for airlines or however you're gonna travel, your lodging, even buying tickets for attractions ahead of time, making reservations at restaurants, just a smart way to make sure you've got extra time to just really connect with your friends and loved ones. How is Myrtle Beach helping children with special needs? You know, we are an autism friendly destination. It started in 2016 in Surfside Beach, one of our many beaches. And uh, it's a program called Champion Autism Network, training people in attractions and lodging and other things that help employees give assistance to families that have a child on the spectrum. Can a beach vacation be budget friendly? It is important to set your budget and everybody has a different budget. But the beautiful thing about Myrtle Beach is you can go on any budget. If you want to go high end luxury, you can do that. If you need something a little more budget friendly, you can certainly do that in Myrtle Beach as well. And it's affordable to get there, easy to get there. It's within half a day's drive to half of the U.S. population, if you can believe that. And we have an amazing airport that was named the 2021 Best Small Airport in USA Today's Reader's Choice Awards. 44 nonstop flights that go right to that airport. It's a mile from the beach, so when you get there, you are there. What attractions are in your area? Well, if you go to visit myrtlebeach.com, you can see the wide range of things there are to do in Myrtle Beach. It just makes it ideal for any group. We've got 60 miles of beach, 90 golf courses, 50 mini golf courses, eight live theaters. We've got eight breweries even, two state parks. So many activities and attractions outdoor, um, or you could do something laid back, do museums, do some edutainment, we like to call it. So there's such a variety that everyone in your group will really be pleased at Myrtle Beach. Edutainment, tell us more. Well, you know, it's the WonderWorks Interactive Science Museum. It's a great attraction and it's a lot of fun, but you can also learn a lot. So that's what we call edutainment. Very cute. And I'm glad that you mentioned golf. Thanks for coming on our show. Thank you so much. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.